This is Mo. Yes. And he is going to take me up in his paramotor trike. That's right. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm glad you're here. Yes, let's go. All right, let's do it. I'm Corey Robin. Ride along with me and the Flying Cowboys as we take you flying into the backcountry where there's no runway required. It's like a motorcycle strap. All right, I just don't want to do it improperly. Thank you. No problem. That's service. That's uh, VIP service right there. The in-flight movie is awesome. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, so I just hook right, this up and strap yep. it. Yep, now look here, I have a strap between my legs. It's gonna create like a T. You have the same thing here. So okay. This. So uh, I'm gonna need a little bit of help on this, uh, on the launch sequence. So um, go ahead and put your arms out like this and up and down together. Yeah, <laughs> that'll get us off the ground a little faster. We're gonna need that at this speed here. Awesome. Okay. Um, no, yeah, just enjoy the flight. Cool. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks I'm for having super us. glad you're here. Yeah. Okay, coming in from the left, this is Jason Speed. He lives in the West Desert in Utah, just south of Sunday. Then when Jason did the engine out uh, landing, yeah. no one heard him coming. Oh, I didn't know he didn't engine out. Oh, complete engine out. He yeah. just stopped the prop. He yeah. oh. stopped the prop and came in, and no one even he's, knew him he's, coming. He's so good he, at that. He, Casa Grande for lunch.
right, we made it over to Casa Grande Airport. We're gonna have some lunch at the airport cafe. All of us. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Ready to fly? So we're here in Arizona, just south of the Phoenix area, and we've just landed at a site that was a Japanese internment camp during World War II. Let's go have a look. Well, there's not much left to look at here at this historic site. The crop dusters have been using it to load chemicals in their aircraft. It's good to remember just where we've been as a country, and more importantly, where we should never return. That was really a, kind of a cool fly-in. I was, yeah, I was, was actually fun. really impressed. Yeah, was Great fun. people, everybody was super friendly. The great, <laughs> the great thing about aviation is it's a small enough community that you get to know a lot of people. And yeah. You follow Just each so, other online. And so actually... lucky to be in this community. One of the things that I hope to do with the YouTube channel and all the Facebook work and all the Flying Cowboy stuff is inspire people to get involved in it. Show so them fly. that it's fun. Go out and take an intro flight, go to your local airport and spend the 50 bucks or 60 bucks for the intro flight. They usually discount the intro flight heavily, may even be less than that. Or, or find an EAA chapter if you're a, if you're a young kid and, and do an Eagle flight, but get involved in aviation. It is so much fun. It opens up so many things. Well, here's the thing too is nowadays there's a lot of old timers that are retiring and there's a lot of good older aircraft out there 172s 182s 210s and they're getting cheap i mean it seems like 20 years ago what you'd pay for a 172 now 20 years later it's the same amount of money but right. we've had all this inflation i mean aviation's getting affordable this is, if you don't know what a 182 a 210 or whatever all these numbers mark is spitting out is these are models of cessna aircraft now some of them are more advanced than others but there is an airplane that's right for you there's aircraft that you can buy for just a few thousand dollars and have a wonderful time flying and that's something that we hope to inspire you to do is get out there and, and Enjoy it. Go fly. Thanks for watching. <laughs>